let's start the lecture tonight so good evening all of you aircraft structure day 7 in this we are starting there is something called sfd and bmd sfd means shear force diagram bmd means bending moment diagram okay so what is shear force we know very well we are going to understand diagram of that what is bending moment i will explain little bit and we are going to understand the diagram okay understand the situation suppose you have any 3d object like this and this is your front face this is your top face this is your right side face imagine that uh, exactly exactly at this right side face like this we are applying a load okay suppose that load is of 10 newton so what will happen molecules these molecules are sitting on the right faces what will they experience they will experience that we should go down right so imagine that immediately left side of the right face you have another set of molecule those molecules are also experiencing something but that is because of these molecular motion what are they experiencing so suppose in this body we have total three layers of molecules one is the last one here so this is the first layer second layer third layer this solid is made up of only three layers of molecules just for understanding purpose i am creating like this when the first layer of molecule when this these people will go down what will be the physical situation with respect to the second see here suppose this is the second layer this is the first layer molecules of the first layer they are going down molecules are second layer what will they feel i have told you during shear force explanation shear stress explanation that when molecules will go down then these molecules want them want these people to come back right to come back so there will be a settlement of a force you can see one force will set up in upward direction right what is difference between this applied force and the force which is being set up in between layers of the molecule this force actually this 10 newton force is that force what we are applying externally that we call as load okay and types of load we have seen last class but this this force is actually working among the molecules so you will say as shear force right so what is intention my intention uh you have any beam and you are loading this beam with different different loads okay throughout the structure with the different different so every portion of the beam will experience some shear force like this 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 portion this portion this portion this portion this portion so what kind of shear force they are going to experience they may experience till certain distance constant shear like the same phenomena they may experience till certain distance or maybe in certain distance they may experience variable shear force in certain distance they may feel very awkward variation okay in real life we have different different loading condition according to that this beam is going to experience different different types of shear loading in different different parts of the same beam okay now what we are going to understand we are going to take simple cases simple means whatever cases we have to cover in our syllabus those cases we will take so in that my first case i am starting using cantilever beam so i am going to discuss cantilever beam and cantilever beam i will load differently using different different types of loads and i will draw my sfd means shear force diagram for the beam and i will and i will draw bmd okay now 
let's understand like shear force idea you got now let's understand what is the meaning of bending moment diagram after that i will start okay so imagine a situation that again taking cantilever is a good example so actually i can also explain using simply supported beam or both side like this kind of fixed beam i can but best example best way like simple so i am keeping cantilever beam for a explanation purpose so suppose here you are applying a 10 newton load and at 1 meter you are applying suppose 20 meter sorry 20 newton load so i want to know that how at every section your bending moment is acting understand one thing what is the meaning of bending moment when you will apply the load then your beam will bend okay and in this diagram somewhat you may judge that this beam will bend something like this right this beam will bend something like this okay what if 20 newton is not there in that case if 20 newton is not there then your beam will simply bend like this if 20 newton is not there correct but because 20 newton is there so this will support the beam right so it will the green line you can say when 20 newton is there okay next why the okay so so we un, we understand that this beam is bending why the beam is bending i am not going to that detail i am saying that if the beam is bending then at every section how much bending moment was experienced by the beam okay so to find out that bending moment basic formula is force into distance okay how much distance how much force so this is the resultant force how much force you are applying so this is one thing distance means at which section you want to find out bending moment that distance okay so suppose in this cantilever beam example this is my beam i am applying a load of 10 newton here i am applying load of 20 newton this distance i am keeping 1 meter this distance i am keeping suppose 5 meter i want to know that at this section how much bending moment is being experienced by the beam so what will you do this 10 newton load is there right so force we got what is the idea idea is this 10 newton is responsible to bend this much portion get the idea this 10 newton is responsible to bend this much portion okay clear so force is 10 newton and multiply with how much distance you want so suppose i am saying that 0.3 meter from the free end this location where i am interested that is 0.3 meter so into 0.3 meter so 10 newton 0.3 meter means 3 newton meter means how much you are expecting here 3 newton meter i can also ask you that at 0.5 meter how much will uh, uh, how much will be your bending moment so 10 into 0.5 will become 5 newton meter i can also ask you exactly at 1 meter correct so exactly at, exactly at 1 meter how will you calculate so 10 into 1 is equal to 10 newton meter you can say you can see that if i will keep on going in this direction i can have infinite points right i can have infinite points so will you find out like this for infinite points it is not like worth like uh, even in computers we cannot calculate for infinite points right so it's better to draw a, a graph which will represent the variation of bending moment with data okay so like for in this case this is my 0 newton meter line so like again i have to tell you there is something called sagging there is some, something called hogging i will explain that now see if your beam is bending like this okay so beam is coming down suppose in my diagram if beam is coming like this beam is coming down so consider a trick if beam is coming down then you say no it is not good for us okay you say negative it means bending moment when you will calculate then you will say that 
it is a negative bending moment and in this case you say hogging hogging but if your beam is going up in that case it is good for us see good or bad i am not saying loose talk i am doing loose talk means it will be in your mind like something is going up it means happy like stock stock market graph goes up we are happy graph goes down we are not happy so you say sagging hogging sagging there is also a trick see if beam bends like this so it is happy happy sign right so this is plus it is positive like positive your nose you draw like positive okay it is happy sign but if it is like this okay then you can see it is negative sign like this so anyway this is not a big deal you can clearly see that if it is going down then you say negative it is going up then sagging positive so how to draw sfd bmd those things we are going to understand and uh, in case of shear stress if the load if the load is acting downward then because of that whatever shear stress will develop in the beam that i will consider as positive if the load is acting upward then because of this external loading whatever shear stress will develop in the in my beam that i will say as negative shear stress okay let's start drawing so i am choosing a cantilever beam with a simple loading of 10 newton in this case i want to draw sfd how will you draw sfd so see here actually you will draw a 0 newton line this you will say which is which is this line meaning is this line is reference line okay reference line for shear force diagram either your shear force will be positive or negative so you will draw your diagram either above or below or both depends on the loading condition so 10 newton force is there so i told you just now if applied load if applied load is downward then shear force diagram will be positive so upside positive downside negative okay so this 10 newton load is there na so applied load is also in newton shear force is also in newton so it means what exactly equal to 10 newton line you draw one line here okay and you can say that 10 newton i am drawing equal to 10 1 cm so you draw 1 cm line and you come like this now see here from here to here you have constant shear now some new students may be thinking sir why do we have constant shear so you you understand that whenever we have point load then same effect will travel among all molecules if you have point load that's why everywhere in the beam you have 10 newton shear stress everywhere in the beam at any section suppose someone will ask sir at this section how much shear stress we have then i will see left side how many forces are there then i will check i will find out that okay only one force 10 newton is there then i will say that here i have 10 newton shear stress so that i can check in the in the graph in the diagram okay now when you are coming till here then you can see i have done this much diagram and this height i will immediately jump here and that height i will say 1 cm or you can say 10 newton height okay actually this centimeter and all is not helpful for us because in gate exam we are not going to measure the line okay we are only going to understand what kind of diagram geometry will develop okay so no need to say that 1 cm 1 mm or something something no need to do scaling part here simply say that you go up by 10 newton and when you are coming here when you are coming to the left side after that all the story will start now i will tell you that i am going to connect like this i am going to connect like this then question comes why i am connecting like that so i am connecting like that because at this fixed end at this fixed end i have three types of reactions so one reaction on this end you see one reaction is vertically upward one reaction is horizontal and one moment also three reactions i have okay i want to know that how much reactions there are so see here horizontal reaction will be zero why because there is no horizontal load applied on this beam so this beam will not 
गिव एनी हॉरिजेंटल रिएक्शन बट योर वर्टिकल रिएक्शन इज इक्वल टू द अप्लाइड लोड टेन न्यूटन ओके सो हाउ विल यू कम टू दिस पार्ट सो फॉर दैट इन यस्टरडे क्लास आई सेट समेशन ऑफ एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो समेशन ऑफ एफ वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो इन द फर्स्ट वन आई डोंट हैव एनी अप्लाइड लोड इन एक्स डायरेक्शन सो दैट्स वाई आर एच प्लस जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट्स वाई आर एच इज कमिंग इज इक्वल टू जीरो बट इन माई सेकेंड एफ वाई समेशन आई हैव ये आर वी ओके प्लस वन मोर लोड इज देयर टेन न्यूटन एल्जेब्रिक सम आई वॉन्ट टू कीप जीरो ओके नाउ बिकॉज आई गॉट दिस आर वी दिस लोड इज इक्वल टू माइनस टेन वॉट डज इट मीन मीनिंग इज टू बैलेंस दिस टेन न्यूटन लोड दिस एट द फिक्सड पॉइंट आई एम गेटिंग अ लोड हियर आर वी इज इक्वल टू टेन न्यूटन एंड वॉट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस गाई डायरेक्शन इज अपर्ड सो जस्ट यू अंडरस्टूड दैट we are seeing in real life in real life your region is different in real life you are seeing 10 newton loading and this fixed condition this you are seeing in real life but mathematically in drawing what you are seeing in drawing you are seeing that this is the beam here 10 newton load is applied and here also 10 newton load is applied okay okay so because of this this 10 newton you went up by 10 newton and you came till here and this constant shear diagram you got shear force diagram you got but i am saying you just join this so for that what is the explanation why are you joining this here explanation is this 10 newton is also acting upward so from here what positive 10 we were maintaining that will suddenly become zero because from here we will experience negative 10 i hope this is clear so you understood Uh, why i am joining this okay this is very important for interview discussion they may ask you that till here you are coming constant that is correct but why are you connect joining this so how will you explain that matters a lot if you will blabber anything they will kick you out from the interview okay be careful you have to explain like this that sir when we calculated for rh because we don't have any external load in horizontal direction that's why we are not getting any horizontal reaction also but our loads are applied in vertical directions so for vertical direction i will apply summation of fy is equal to 0 and i will find out that rv plus 10 is equal to 0 okay then professor will ask how did you find that plus 10 you should come here you should write here then you will say sir downward is positive i am maintaining so rv automatically come is minus 10 fine okay we understood that this diagram y2 connect here this is your sfd for same beam now i am going to explain bmd for same loading condition okay again for the same uh, thing i have 10 newton here then you do one thing first of all yes correct negative sign in rv represent upward now you see uh sorry here here it is my mistake because banani is asking question i i must explain this see here actually in this equation it is my mistake actually in this equation if you are writing rv plus 10 it means this rv also positive let me change my page actually summation fy is equal to 0 first you understand what my mistake i did just now i have written rv plus 10 is equal to 0 which means rv is equal to minus 10 what does it mean meaning is this direction what i have considered for rv that is wrong direction okay now what i should do here i should do like this summation fy is equal to 0 in the equation all downward forces i will write positive all upward forces i will write negative so according to this di uh, uh, convention i should should write minus r rv plus 10 is equal to 0 now rv is coming 10 what does it mean what direction i have chosen that is correct direction correct so actually you should come like this now point is if rv is 10 then how will you explain that i went up here by 10 newton and then i came here 
then why I am adding this? Why I am joining this? So you will say that because here my RV is coming 10. It means direction of RV what I have considered that is correct and that is upward because in the beginning itself I took upward. That's why in the main question, main equation I wrote negative. Okay. So my mistake was I did not write minus sign here. I should write minus sign here. Then I should write minus sign here. Then minus minus will get cancelled. Then I'll be getting RV is equal to 10. Clear? RV is equal to 10. This answer is coming uh, correct means plus 10. What does it mean? Direction what I have considered that is correct. Otherwise negative answer. Because already with sign I am considering here. Na? With sign I am putting here answer in this. I hope you understood this. Okay. I will go back. So go for BMD. In BMD. First of all you draw 0 Newton meter line this you will call as reference line for BMD for bending diagram ok so see here uh, we will consider two things in mind if your beam is bending like this then your BMD you should draw negative if your beam is going upward then BMD you should draw positive so currently because of this load this beam will bend like this it is coming downward so you should draw negative negative means in this direction you will draw in this direction you will not draw here you will not draw so how will you start your drawing understand suppose at this position exactly at this position i want to find out my bm bending moment then you will say bending moment m at any position is nothing but force into distance position of that point where you want to calculate so if you want to calculate exactly at the tip so distance is zero now at the tip so here exactly here bending moment will be zero so you will just put you will start from here no doubt but zero next suppose i want to find out here i want to find out here find out here find out here find out here then what you are seeing that force is anyway constant what is changing only R is changing. Okay. Now problem is if R is changing, only R is changing, then you check power. Here power is 1, here power is 1. It's not like your M is equal to F into R square. It is not the case, right? Simple case F is F is equal M is equal to FR. You remember in, in our 9th class, 10th class, we had line equation Y is equal to MX plus C. So for time being, you forget this C, then Y is equal to MX. So here power 1, here power 1. So linear equation, line. Okay which is giving you idea that which is giving you idea that variation of bending moment is linear so from here you draw linear line linear this is your linear bending moment equation now question is you have to exactly connect this to zero again the same answer why are you connecting this to zero because here you have one bending moment which will encounter the all moments and finally because i i told you last class that Whatever is happening here, let it happen. But when you will reach exactly at this position, everything will go zero. Right? That's why I am connecting bending moment zero here. So this diagram became my BMD diagram. Okay? I hope you understood your SFD. You understood your BMD. Let's do one problem. Suppose this is my point. Here I am giving... 10 Newton and here also I am giving 10 Newton this is also 2 meter distance this is also 2 meter distance ok so first of all you will draw SFD so uh, some students draw SFD here some students draw SFD here some students draw here draw here some students draw here some students draw here use my points so these are your extreme points if you want to use use them okay draw on my screen first you draw your rough page think and you just give me the shape i just want the shape draw on my screen very good Very good job. You guys are rocking. 
everyone is clear with us everybody very good now very good now i will give my explanation all are correct very good very very good okay now i will explain this situation first i am using first diagram here i'll explain see this side molecules will experience only 10 newton so from here from here i am immediately going 10 up after that till this distance i will go but these side molecules will experience this 10 also and this 10 also so 10 more so this became your sfd so all diagrams are correct right now what will be the now you draw new question you draw new question and what will be sfd if exactly here this became 10 newton use my screen do rough here on my screen everyone give you a try very good you all are absolutely correct again good very good okay so these two diagrams you draw on your page also now let's understand my explanation what i am explaining i am saying that these side molecules will experience 10 newton but when we will reach here then these side molecules will not experience any load why because ten, this 10 and this 10 they will nullify each other so finally you will come to till this point situation is clear of 10 newton uh, shear force after that you don't have shear force in the beam i hope it's clear why don't you have shear force in the beam you think at molecular level also then you will enjoy a lot okay now uh, let's do bmd also for these people okay so again same cantilever beam and this is 10 newton this is also 10 newton and 2 meter and 2 meter okay so some students draw here some people draw here some people draw here draw here draw here you can also draw here okay actually you don't have space so draw a small small diagrams your points are here just give a try first you do your rough work after that you try very good guys i just want to see the shape like how you guys are thinking very good okay i understand this i understand this also i understand this and i understand this okay clear good good job now uh, you see my explanation uh, what i am saying about this uh see see actually you should be master of this uh, you forget your basic ways what you have learned in your university if you are comfortable what you have learned from your college days then very very good if you are uncomfortable then believe me you will be master you you think like this at this point what is the feeling what these points are feeling these points are feeling that this is the only guy which is bending the beam right so this is your 0 newton meter reference line 0 newton meter reference line so this beam will bend like this so i will draw a straight line here why am i drawing a straight line because from here to here your bending moment is represented by 10 into r r if i consider as a distance so m and r variation i can check power 1 power 1 so linear right and why i am not doing like this because load is downward so beam is bending like this hogging sagging concept is uh, uh, like guiding me to draw downward after that what will happen after that in this portion this 10 newton is already there okay understand one thing if in this uh, this 10 newton is not there then the same line you will extend same line you will extend but because this 10 newton is there so now for these people your for from here to here your equation of m dash how it is going to be it is going to be that from here to here suppose i will consider at any section here like suppose from here to here i have i am considering only one variable x so i want to give my studies only in x so this m how will you calculate at any location this side this 10 into x this 10 into x after that this 10 this 
into uh, this remaining distance. So how much is that remaining distance? How will you calculate that? Total is 4. This much is x. But how much we are looking for? We are only looking for this gap. This gap. Total is x. Remove this 2. You will be getting only that middle, middle distance. So many data I have written here. Don't be confused. I am saying this total is x. This is 2. So only this gap I am looking for. So x minus 2. So if you write down 10 into x minus 2. So from here you are getting an idea. What is that? 10x plus 10x minus 2. It means 20x minus 2. Now you can see here. Basic equation of line. Y is equal to mx plus c. Don't worry about this c. Focus on this m. Earlier in this expression your m was 10. But now in this expression your m became 20. m is slope. Slope is being double now. That's why after this point you will not follow the same slope. You will follow double slope. Like this. Okay. Now slope is double so you are coming. Now question is how far you will come? From this 0 you have come till here. So how much is this? That is one question. Like how much is this height? And next, next question how far you will come? Okay. So for that you know that this 10 into 2, into 2 will give me 20. So this will be my 20 height. Okay. And after that uh, how much will be this height? Anyone tell me how much will be this total height? Different students are giving different answers. But uh, 60 is the correct answer. See how 60 is correct answer. Because of this free end 10 is there. So because of this 10, this total gap is 40. So 10 into 4 is 40. So 40 Newton meter is already there. So that was you know how much? When only this much will extend, then this much will be your 40. Okay. But actually we have to calculate this extra also. So uh, how much is extra? This 40 was already there plus this 10 with 20 gap. So 10 into 20. So to this is also 20. So total 60. So this is extra 20. So total is 60. I hope you got the idea. Because you have to visualize everything. Otherwise you will not be able to think out of box properly. Okay. See there is no rules you should follow. If you are following any rule it means you are not learning the main concept. Some students, they used to learn like, okay, this is C, like, you know, how some people learn, they learn like this. This is the thing, this is point A, left of point A, my, uh, right of point A, left of point B, right of point B, no, 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 no. You, you play with this, you have to play with this, you keep on changing your own diagram and think on that. Okay, and uh, suppose, now, so you, we got the answer. Both side linear? Of course both side linear. Because we have power 1 in the radius. Uh, sorry, in the gap, right? M is equal to force into R only coming uh, everywhere. So this R is also having power 1. M is also having power 1. So linear variation. Don't be confused here. It is linear variation until you don't have square or cube. Now, you guys will try for this. Okay. You draw, oh sorry, not that one. This question, next question, like 10 Newton here, 10 Newton here. So, uh, some students try on this, some students try on this, some students try on this, try on this, try on this. Consider this as your midpoint. Draw a small diagram just for understanding the shape of the diagram. 2, 2, this is also 2 meter, same, same, same question. This is also 2 meter. Uh, I want to mention that. Uh, in the last question when this 10 Newton was here, our uh, BMD was like this. Just focus here. Our BMD was like this and like this. After that I forgot to say that you have to close this BMD. Okay. If you will not close BMD, what does it mean? Meaning is you are showing that here you don't have uh, this moment. But actually moment is there that is encountering all the bending here. Right. That's why you have to close in the last this bending moment diagram. There are some situations where you will not close this bending moment diagram. Okay. But here you have to close that. 
because it is giving you idea that you have a fixed fixed support that support is encountering the total loading right on anyway now complete this diagram students try this it seems you guys are not able to think on this question this is actually very bad uh, very different question i will explain this see here how will you think on this question okay so if we are this side then which what kind of equation we will follow m is equal to 10 n loading in that you multiply this gap so suppose that gap is r or x anything we can say okay so say x because you simply say that 10 into x so linear variation will be there one thing is clear so no doubt that from here to here you have linear variation no doubt in this half will be linear this is no doubt but when you will come exactly here then here students are confused what will happen there okay guys don't worry see even this point even this point this point will experience the full bending moment because of 10 newton at 2 meter distance it is not like suddenly your bending moment will become zero no it is not okay next thing why did i come down because this 10 newton was bending the beam like this so question is what after that what will happen so after that when you target any suppose any segment here so at that station suppose this is suppose point 3 so you try to imagine that at that point 3 location from the middle this 10 newton this 10 newton will apply moment because of 2.3 meter distance and this 10 newton will apply moment only because of point 3 so who is dominating this 10 is dominating it means this 10 is making minus but this 10 into point 3 is making plus so overall you are getting minus so 23 minus 3 will give you 20 correct it means at this point you should have 20 uh, total was how much total was 20 oh i think i am doing some mistake in calculation what is my mistake in calculation this 10 2.3 okay now if i will go ahead in this in this direction if i will go ahead in this direction then what will happen suppose i am going here exactly here where this gap is 1 meter then because of this bigger 10 newton minus 10 into 2 plus 1 will come but because of this 10 newton plus 10 plus 10 into 1 will come now what is happening here minus 30 plus 10 i am getting minus 20 it means okay actually i should write down this as minus so i should get get minus here so again i have minus 20 it means what i can see that from here minus 20 is maintained okay and when because it is a fixed beam so from here again i'll i'll be getting offer so that i can close i hope this concept is clear if anyone is having any doubt ask because see here we we are getting one one logic here it is a logic what is the logic that logic is after this midpoint at every point we are getting constant moment and that is this 20 20 is maintained anyone is having any doubt ask your doubt if no doubt copy this diagram one more trick i will tell you suppose you are not able to decide that what sign you should use minus sign or plus sign for this loading i am using minus sign but for other loading i am using plus sign in that case how will you justify yourself so when suppose i want to decide sign for this bending moment 
then that time i will not consider effect of any other moment are you getting you do not consider effect of any other force you only imagine that you have a beam and you have a only single loading then because of this loading how the beam will go beam will go like that so negative and when you want to judge this 10 newton in that case you don't see any other loading you only see this loading so because of this loading what is the behavior beam should go like this so because of this positive that's why this term i took positive this term i took positive because they are because of this 10 newton i hope it's clear right diagram is clear so sfd is also clear bmd is also clear okay till now in my both examples only point load was given now i will give you so this beam was loaded with the pure point load now i will give you a beam where concentrated moment will be loaded changing the page okay so again cantilever beam because i am teaching you right now today only for cantilever beam again you take a beam like this now because this loading we have done so now i will not take that in my example in gate exam mix can mixture can come mixture means you have a beam they can give you a concentrated moment also point load also but they will not give you more than two loading condition because it will consume your time in gate exam right okay so now suppose i am giving you this kind of moment and i am saying that this is 5 newton meter okay so this 5 newton meter i am giving symbol as capital m okay do you understand what is the meaning of this in iit madras interview they asked that give any example how will you apply this kind of concentrated moment on the beam in real life okay this part i will cover later okay next thing next thing suppose i am okay for this how will you draw so quickly we can draw so first of all you understand pure concentrated moment like this they don't develop shear in the beam so this is known as pure bending so this symbol is known as concentrated moment in last class i have taught you and this produces pure bending okay pure bending means no shear no shear means no sfd no sfd means zero newton sfd clear okay so because of this 5 newton if you are drawing zero newton uh, reference line for shear so on this line you will draw zero newton cfd done done cfd okay now bending moment is also very clear for this let's understand try to imagine try to imagine uh if you have any beam okay and you are holding the beam like this okay uh something like okay so i should draw thumb over this like this so okay my drawing is not coming proper here but it's okay you understand you are holding in your hand and i'm saying the rotate like this turn like this means twist uh, bend like this bend like this bending so when you are bending like that then what kind of shape you are getting you are getting sagging it is happy shape good for us sagging sagging is happy shape good for us you see smiley you are smiley in whatsapp no uh, i nose and happy so when you are happy you should use positive bending moment and here this happy sign is for sagging okay good for us so you can see here uh, i told you if you are confused with the sign then consider only that particular load to check the bending so if you consider only this load then no doubt that this load will bend beam like that correct this this load is having tendency to bend beam like this right okay so sagging no doubt so sagging means you draw 0 newton meter reference line and from there you sudden go up 
why you will sudden go up because already it is newton meter in the beginning itself it is newton meter it's not like this is a force in that you will multiply distance then slowly slowly bending moment will increase no it is directly concentrated moment at the end at the free end itself it is 5 newton meter so you will go here and same 5 newton meter will be experienced throughout the beam so this became your bending moment and at the end you have to connect this i hope it's clear okay now use this concept as a universal concept whenever you have this guy but suppose if i will add imagine if i add one more force here then till here situation will be same but after this situation will not be same then you will apply which concept this much is already there then because of this some extra bending moment will come okay and in shear force diagram till here situation is same but after that you will be having shear force okay anyway and that will be my next example currently uh, we are going to discuss pure bending moment situations so this is your final answer this is your final answer copy down this tick on the screen if you are done now i will give you example where i will club few more moments like this so in my next example again same cantilever beam and i am giving you one moment like this that is my 5 newton meter moment and because you can see with the help of symbol you can judge it is concentrated moment and here i am giving you 2 newton meter moment and here i am giving you 5 newton meter moment and here i am giving you 1 newton meter moment and all the gaps 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter so everyone Uh, draw your shear force for first of all you draw your shear force on these lines because we can see here shear force will be zero so your shear force is exactly zero exactly zero exactly zero here vedant you wait and now now uh, if we draw bending moment diagram then how that bending moment diagram will look like for that you guys draw shapes then i will explain draw on my screen so some students tried well very good now let's understand what i am drawing here so this is my 0 newton meter reference line okay from here i will go up i i will go up by 5 newton meter height and i will travel till this distance after that i will further jump because i have 2 newton meter same direction 2 newton meter same direction so i will travel till here after that i will come down by 5 because that direction is opposite right so come down by 5 so somewhere here suppose after that i will travel till here by same then again i will go up by 1 then again i will come one here and you know automatically you have to pack this because it is fixed so it is offering finally a moment like this okay and now you can judge that uh here also positive here also positive here also positive here also positive what does it mean throughout the beam we are getting everywhere we are getting sagging shape beam is in sagging shape even though some uh, moments are there but they are actually in sagging shape okay i hope this part is also clear now we can club some bending uh, point and this thing so i am changing the page now you can write down numbers here this is 5 this is 1 okay so let's club point load and this bending changing the page take down this from here suppose i am giving you 2w w is any weight and uh, from here i am giving like this 2m 2m is a 
concentrated bending moment here i am giving you 3w and this is like this 2m this is gate question okay usually i i don't take gate question in class but this is very suitable question to take that's why i am taking this okay now you will try your sfd so for sfd i am giving you some lines so first of all we will work out our sfd problem everyone will try this question sfd problem and uh, you can take one point here 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 point 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 okay everyone try this question and be very careful otherwise you will lose your gate marks here take this question very seriously some diagrams are correct i will draw this now from my side see here always remember these concentrated moments they don't play any role in sfd okay so for sfd only this guy and this guy these people are responsible only these two people so because of downward loading we consider shear force positive right so i will immediately go up i will immediately go up by how much 2w length and i will travel till where i will travel till here why because this guy will not affect my sfd so whatever sfd i am generating because of this 2w same i will maintain everywhere right after that immediately when i will reach to this 3w beam will experience that it is upward right it is upward upward loading means sfd will go negative so this is 2 so 2 it will cancel easily but because it is 3 so it will also go one down so 2 here cancel also go one down and after that with this much cfd your uh, this will run till here and this 2m further it will not disturb your sfd so finally club this like this so we got our sfd we got our sfd okay now let's draw bmd so for bmd you guys take your time draw on your notebook then you draw bmd on my screen i am giving you place to draw bmd consider distance as l l l l okay and from your basic understanding you choose your length so that it should be adjusted in this okay consider here here and here three points here 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 three points okay draw on my screen do it okay now my turn so how to draw this c okay bindu you complete here so how will i draw i will draw this like this first so because at the end i have point load so point load is in newton so immediately i have to multiply with the distance then only it will be newton meter so exactly at the free end i have zero r because free end itself can't give you distance right that is a point okay now question comes i should draw so one thing is clear because of point load either i will go here or, or i will go here right so no doubt that because of this point load i should go for negative direction so i am going for negative direction next is on this beam if this kind of bending moment is acting so what will be the shape of this beam i hope you will be agree that beam will bend like this right if that kind of twisting bending you are giving in the beam okay if you are not able to understand then you use any any this kind of uh, this kind of system okay and using this scissor or something you twist like this then you will realize okay how the bending is beam is bending or you can also do that if this is the bending you put your all fingers above this and your thumb below this and you twist like this then you will see twist in the direction of this arrow then you will see that okay how the beam is, it is bending like that so you can judge that again it is hogging shape is coming hogging means beam is bending like this bad shape negative shape so negative so so it means from here you will jump suddenly how much jump suddenly by 
टू एम सो सी हियर एम इज ऑलरेडी अ मोमेंट नो नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई एनी डिस्टेंस बिकॉज मोमेंट इज डायरेक्टली हैविंग यूनिट न्यूटन मीटर अगेन इफ यू विल मल्टीप्लाई मिस्टेक बाई मिस्टेक आर देन टू बिकम न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर सो इन मोमेंट कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड मोमेंट वी डोंट मल्टीप्लाई डिस्टेंस ऑलरेडी इट इज बाई डिफॉल्ट इट इज ओके नेक्स्ट सो आफ्टर दिस वॉट विल हैपन क्वेश्चन कम्स शुड आई गो स्ट्रेट और शुड आई गो लाइक दिस वॉट डू यू थिंक टिक ऑन माई स्क्रीन वॉट डू यू थिंक ओके सम स्टूडेंट्स आर बींग रिस्पॉन्सिव वेरी गुड सी हियर योर आंसर इज करेक्ट वी शुड चूज रेड लाइन नॉट ब्लैक लाइन वाई शुड आई चूज रेड लाइन करेक्ट आंसर इज फॉर दिस एम बेंडिंग मोमेंट विल नॉट चेंज लेफ्ट साइड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट टू एम बेंडिंग मोमेंट should be maintained like this but that 2m is not the only load this 2w is also there na so for this 2w if you will keep on giving distance 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 then this 2w will give you inclined variation in bending moment right because distance is increasing for this 2w and moment because of 2w is nothing but force into distance if you will increase the distance so linear variation will come because of 2w not because of 2m i hope this part is also clear so why because of 2w this thing will happen clear so now your next step is uh, uh after that when you are here somewhere between 2m and 3w when you are there you have to understand that this guy is giving you negative moment this guy is giving you negative moment but this 3w now forget all the loads you only think about 3w draw the beam think about 3w so this 3w will take the beam like this sagging means uh, good for us right happy beam is bending like that so positive so because of 3w it is positive so all people this guy and this guy they are going to become negative but 3w will give you positive effect so now you see here i don't know that how much dominating they are when i am reaching at this section it means concept i understand but i don't know that from here will they balance each other and it will come like this or these people will dominate even though 3w is there it will go like this or 3w will dominate my graph will come like that right this i don't know so for that who will help me mathematics will help me okay so here you should understand that Uh, logic so what will i do i will check where will i check i will check at this section means all the load i want to find out at that section so i am going to find out my bending moment at that section so this 2w l into l into l 3l so 2w into 3l this is going to be negative this guy is negative okay next plus which one uh, this 2m is also negative okay after that i will look for this 3w so this uh, 3w plus sorry 3w into single l this guy is positive so these two people are negative negative but this guy is positive now i will check finally uh, what is happening i am getting positive answer or negative answer so what do you think positive or negative overall if i check okay you may have confusion that sir what is m how will you compensate m with uh, l right uh, like because different different answers are there na uh, m is different variable w and l is different variable so you may not be able to combine them together to get the final answer okay so for that you do one thing uh, you can reach consider from my side i am giving you data you consider this m is equal to w l then it will be easier for us to communicate in terms of wl so wherever i have wl everywhere i will replace that as m so this part became i am writing here minus 6m correct plus 2m correct sorry sorry minus 2m minus 2m correct plus 3m so if i solve this i'll be getting 
दो आठ तीन पांच माइनस फाइव एम सो फॉर दिस माइनस फाइव एम बिकॉज आई नो दिस टोटल हाइट इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज एंड वेयर वेयर इट इज गोइंग नाउ अगेन क्वेश्चन कम्स इट इज गोइंग वेयर इट इज गोइंग लाइक आई शुड गो डाउन सो हाउ मच आई शुड गो डाउन आई शुड गो हियर और 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 आई शुड गो हियर वेयर शुड आई गो सो फॉर दैट मैथमेटिक्स विल हेल्प अस इट मीन्स आई शुड नो हाउ मच इज दिस सो दैट इज ओनली टू ओनली टू टू एम एंड हाउ मच इज दिस फोर एम एंड हाउ हाउ मच आई एम गेटिंग फाइव एम सो फाइव एम मीन्स समवेयर समवेयर हियर समवेयर हियर आई होप इट्स क्लियर ओके नाउ फ्रॉम देयर अगेन आई हैव टू एम जम्प so the, you can see this 2m and this 2m they will behave same so 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 from here i will jump for 2m extra 2m extra so now question comes uh like will you cross this i mean when you are coming here will you cross this or you will come exactly to this or bottom or more so for that again mathematics will help you right so how much was this total according to that you find out because we know that this height is 5m and from here i have to go 2m down so 7m i have to go so how much is this so uh, that was kitna tha wo this 2l l 4l 2 okay i want to you know what i am trying to find out do you understand i want to find out that what is this green color height what is this total height here how much moment i am getting so to calculate that moment okay 6m correct 6m is coming there 6m is coming there so i have to become 7m so now somewhere here i should go so i will come till here so now till here i have given you all the explanations uh this height is 2w into l and this is sudden jump 2m so total 4 and for this uh 2w into l 2m that is equal to 6m so this height is 6m and after that we went down so here this much is 5m this is sudden jump 2m sudden jump in because of this i am getting sudden jump and uh, that's all in the last some students are solving and they are saying it is 6 so let's calculate it is 6 or not how will you calculate so for this i will i want to calculation for this so this this 2w this 2w you will multiply with how many l 1 2 3 4 4 so 4l okay uh i don't know sign yet but you know this will be minus then for this also minus then for this Uh, 3 3w into 2l right 3w into 2l will come because this l is here this l is here and then plus how much will come uh, 2m will come i hope my thing is correct okay here i should write minus sign i should write minus sign here now let's check how much is coming so here 8m is coming and here minus 2m is coming plus 6m is coming minus 2m is coming okay so oh yeah minus 8 damage coming correct so minus 8 minus 2 10 so total minus 6 is coming so we are getting minus 6 so it means what from here where will you join you will join at minus 6 it's not like you will join at plus 6 no at minus 6 so we got it and after that you know it is fixed beam so uh, that will be there i hope you have taken all the heights properly take down all the heights properly it means this 6 and this 6 they will be at same height okay these people will be at same height okay copy down this then we will change our problem okay now you guys just for rough purpose can you say that if i will change this 2m direction okay i hope you have noted everything now i am giving you some more discussion problem if i will do like this no yes yes uh, i want to give you like this okay what was that one 
now I'm giving you this one okay now I'm giving you this thing so you can see here now my direction changed so because of that you know what will happen I had sudden jump in negative direction but now if this question I'm giving then I will be having sudden jump in upward direction like uh, from here see I was coming like this by 2 but now I will go like this by 2 this is 2 so then my diagram will look like this right and then from here I will do calculation okay so when you are doing calculation only everything you will keep same only one thing you will change here you are getting plus 2m now so this will be plus 2m now so you will be getting minus 4 I think yeah minus 4 minus 4m as your answer it means you will connect from here you will connect at minus 4 this is your minus 4 so this will be your BMD I hope it's clear okay we'll go ahead and we will see this uh, how to work out when you have UDL uniformly distributed load uh, this part is clear right any doubt in this when I change the direction you take your time you immediately draw one new diagram this also and this also as a rough and you mention this modification in the diagram do it fast and tick this side once you are done yes yes it should come minus 2 actually because this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so this 6 and this minus 8 will give you minus 2 only so this height is only minus 2 okay please check and correct so now see how to understand UDL so again taking cantilever but now explaining UDL so suppose I have I can have several cases I am taking this case when my UDL is here this is best case my UDL is starting from free end and uh, it is not going completely to the fixed end suppose this length is L this length is L and you know what is UDL UDL is like uh, like it, it's like suppose you have a beam of 500 meter length and you have applied some UDL like I can give you this shape also for the UDL this symbol also and then how do I write UDL UDL we write like this 10 Newton per meter it means when you will cross every 1 meter then you will experience that oh behind 1 meter 10 Newton load is there it means in case of UDL if someone is asking how much load is acting at this section if someone is asking how much load is acting at this section then you will say load based on whatever you have crossed okay how much you have traveled that many like that number you multiply with the length suppose uh, this is 20 meter and this is 40 meter then you will say that in this cantilever suppose this is xx six section then at xx section you have 10 newton per meter into 40 meter 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 cancel we got 400 Newton okay so 400 Newton is the magnitude what is being experienced by these molecules molecules of that section but where this location I mean where this force is really acting okay because if you have force this force is distributed right force is distributed so for that purpose what do we do we consider because it is a kind of rectangular shape so we find out CG of that centroid of that so we say that exactly in the mid that force is acting so see here two things we have to understand how much is the force and where is the location of the force right so you understand this your force was 400 Newton but location you have to be very careful it will be exactly half of this 40 it means it will be at 20 meter okay 
now if it is why the location is important why the location is important because when we are going to calculate bending moment now in that time uh, that time we will calculate we will convert this entire udl into point load using this concept okay then we we got a point load using that point load and distance we will calculate our bending moment so now uh, what will you do in so what we have done when we have this kind of udl okay first you understand the concept of udl after that we'll go ahead so suppose this total distance is uh, some 60 meter and you are here this is your cantilever beam okay so this is suppose 40 meter this is suppose okay no no not 40 because it will be symmetrical then make it 50 meter and make it 10 meter and udl data will be given this suppose this is 10 newton per meter so suppose this is my x x section so load acting at x x section what will be this 10 newton per meter into 60 meter then this meter meter will cancel 600 newton will come okay this is one bullet point next bullet point location location of this load that is nothing but centroid centroid of shape so which shape we have rectangular shape which rectangular shape actually this i am considering as rectangular shape that load the red color this this load and this load this load okay this load and you know actually what we are doing here we are actually calculating area just mention here this is nothing but the area calculation okay okay so where is the centroid centroid of this guy will be like diagonals intersecting there that will be centroid so that will come exactly at 30 so that is 30 meter from uh, free end because i am calculating from free end so this is my 30 correct anyway from this side also it will be 30 but why i am writing from the free end because i have to show this for triangle also their situation is changed okay so how will you calculate load at x x section you are going to calculate actually area and how will you find out location you are actually going to calculate centroid copy down this much then i will go for triangle now itself yeah yeah uh, actually one small mistake i have done uh, only 50 is remaining na load at x x section you will calculate only through 50 right so this is not 60 this is 50 so 500 will come because i am finding out load at x x section so from here how much because i am considering from this direction so how much you have covered you have covered only this much right you have covered only that much so 50 so 10 into 50 500 and now location of this load location of that load will be only how much is remaining how much is remaining how much load you have calculated we have calculated load only for 50 meter so in that 50 meter at 25 right sorry i am correcting my mistake because actually i considered this entire thing as my calculation right so it is not 30 it is 25 did you understand my mistake and correction okay okay now i am changing the page i hope everyone has understood this part my mistake and my correction both so now understand what happens in triangle so in triangle suppose i am giving you this kind of loading condition then in this kind of loading condition suppose this i am giving 10 newton per meter it means it is the highest one it is the highest one you see here do you think in this gap you you are experiencing i mean in this gap whatever load will come same load will come in this gap also no because it is not rectangle it is triangular loading so that's why the name is not udl 
द नेम इज यू वी एल नेम ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ लोडिंग इज नॉट यू डी एल नेम ऑफ दिस इज यू वी एल यूनिफॉर्मली वेरिंग लोड योर लोड इज वेरिंग इन दैट केस सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट लोड हियर एट पॉइंट पी सो लोड एट पी हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट एरिया एरिया विच एरिया सपोज दिस टोटल डिस्टेंस इज थर्टी मीटर देन एरिया एरिया इज नथिंग बट हाफ इन टू बेस इन टू हाइट योर थर्टी इज मीटर एंड योर लोड इज न्यूटन पर मीटर देन वॉट विल हैपन मीटर मीटर यूल कैंसिल सो यूल बी गेटिंग वन फिफ्टी न्यूटन एज द लोड एट पॉइंट पी सो वन थिंग इज क्लियर दैट एट पॉइंट पी हाउ मच लोड इज बींग एक्सपीरियंसड टेन न्यूटन नेक्स्ट थिंग वॉट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ द लोड सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर लोकेशन ऑफ द लोड इन केस ऑफ ट्रेंगुलर लोडिंग इज ऑलवेज ऑलवेज फ्रॉम दिस थर्टी इज देयर ना सो दैट थर्टी यू डिवाइड इन थ्री इक्वल पार्ट दैट थर्टी यू डिवाइड इन थ्री इक्वल पार्ट देन यू चेक विच साइड इज राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो इन माई डायग्राम डायग्राम इज लाइक दिस सो दिस साइड आई हैव राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो फ्रॉम हियर द फर्स्ट वन लाइक हियर द मेन लोड विल एक्ट ओके इट मीन्स इफ यू आर डिवाइड बट सपोज 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 वाइट इज इंपॉर्टेंट सपोज दिस इज द लोडिंग कंडीशन इन दैट केस दिस थर्टी यू डिवाइड इन थ्री इक्वल पार्ट देन फ्रॉम दिस साइड योर लोड विल एक्ट सो योर लोड विल एक्ट ओनली फ्रॉम द नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल सो टेंथ पार्ट वन थर्ड पार्ट थर्टी इज देयर डिवाइड इन थ्री इक्वल पार्ट ओके सपोज इफ इट इज नॉट थर्टी इफ इट इज सम एक्स एक्स डिस्टेंस देन एक्स बाई थ्री एक्स बाई थ्री एक्स बाई थ्री सो विच एक्स बाई थ्री इज अवर पोजिशन फ्रॉम नाइंटी डिग्री एक्स बाई थ्री इज अवर करेक्ट पोजिशन ऑफ लोडिंग आई होप इट्स क्लियर राइट इन माई डायग्राम वॉट एवर लोड वन फिफ्टी न्यूटन यू आर गेटिंग वेयर दैट लोड विल एक्ट दैट लोड विल एक्ट फ्रॉम हियर टेन ओके दिस इज योर टोटल लोडिंग हाउ मच वन फिफ्टी न्यूटन वेयर विल इट एक्ट फ्रॉम हियर टेन टेन मीटर क्लियर कॉप इट ऑन दिस टिक ऑन द स्क्रीन वन स्वेडन इन अपकमिंग क्लासेस we will discuss some complex problems so fundamentals should not be weak that's why i am giving idea in detail for the fundamentals concept should be very good after that actually see tough problems or like there is nothing called tough problem if you have right concept you can crack the problem into small small concepts okay so copy copy down the stick on the screen i'll go ahead okay some students have done this so uh, now i am going to explain what if i am interested at this section so i am changing the page see currently i am not teaching you sfd bmd first i am explaining some fundamentals after that i will teach you sfd bmd so in same in same thing this is my 10 newton per meter and uh, suppose this this total is 30 we know this total is 30 suppose i want to know when i am here i am here means when i am at this 20 meter then at 20 meter i am taking my x x section so there how will you calculate this thing so you know first of all in that case you see your situation one is it's like it is complicated now i will break this this much part you have to analyze the shape that shape is the shape is something like this right okay because this much loading is there this much loading is there okay and how much part we have ignored this much part we have ignored this much part we are not discussing now at this section i have considered x x how much distance is remaining 20 distance is remaining okay i will split this in two parts like this now this became triangular loading and this became your udl your udl so solving udl is very easy very very easy but you can solve udl 
if and only if you know that how much is this length because that is only running now this total this total was 10 newton per meter that height was 10 newton per meter here your height was zero so how will you find height here how will you find height here how will you find height here so that is one of the problem i am saying you like how much height is this so for that you can actually find out so how will you find out you can do the concept of this like when you are traveling full similar triangle concept when you are traveling full 30 meter full 30 length then you are having full 10 loading okay when you will travel only 10 then what will be your loading it's it's like this is your triangle in this triangle you draw one more triangle okay so for bigger triangle your dimension is 30 and 10 and your smaller triangle your direction is dimension is 10 and what okay so now you can uh, uh, do this side by side and height by height side by side i mean base by base perpendicular by perpendicular so 30 by 10 is equal to which 30 which 10 this 30 this 10 okay that is now this 10 by this x you suppose this 10 by this x okay now what will you do this x is equal to uh, or, or there are many ways you can also write opposite uh, means ratio should be same like uh, bigger length by smaller length then both side you should take bigger by smaller and you should not shuffle like there are some mistakes you can do okay so that's why i'm saying base by base perpendicular by perpendicular same pattern you follow okay so x will be how much this 10 into 10 divided by 30 so i think i'm getting 10 by 3 10 by 3 means roughly 3.33 something okay so i got 3 point very very bad number 3.33 no problem so this height i i understood that it is this height i understood that it is 3.33 newton per meter okay so remaining is how much 10 minus that value correct so 10 minus 10 by 3 that is nothing but 30 minus 10 by 3 that is 20 oh why i'm doing like this we can simply subtract right sorry very sorry uh, 3.33 you simply subtract you will be getting some 6.66 something like that okay so we got some answer like this now for this 6.66 you have a separate triangle okay so now you see you understand this is 20 again for the triangle also this is 20 so for this thing you have this height and what is that height 3.33 newton per meter but for remaining 20 i mean for this triangle you draw here how much is this height remaining 6.66 and this this thing so for this guy how will you calculate force uh, 3.33 into 20 so 3.33 into 20 but for this guy how will you calculate force uh, 1 by 2 into base into 6.66 okay so uh, where this force will act this force will act where this force will act exactly in between right that will act exactly in between of 20 so at 10 from here at 10 now where this will act that will act first of all we should know that where is the calculation like how much is the force coming that is one thing so 66 should come i think because uh, 1 by 2 into 20 is 10 so 6.66 means 66.66 so load is clear that 66.66 load is coming but where is the location so location will be from here okay this is 20 so location will be 20 by 3 okay it means what in this main diagram i can see two forces right now i am changing the page uh, how much is this 3.33 into 20 that is also 66.6 only and this is also coming 66.6 both are coming 66.6 right both are coming 66 
So I am taking 66. I am not taking 66.6 for simply because this is not gate exam. It is classroom program. So for simplicity, I am taking 60. It means now I have got this kind of situation. Okay. So from here at this distance, oh sorry, this is 20. So I am dividing this 20 like this. No, I should not divide like that. Wait, my mistake. I should divide first like this and this is 60.6. Okay. And then I should divide like this. This is also 60.6. So here also one point load you got and here also one point load you got, right? So resultant of, because they both are same force. So resultant of those people will come where? Exactly in between here, correct? So this became, okay, you have to know where is that? You have to know, right? So from here, this was 10 and uh, this was 20 by 3 so 10 minus 20 by 3 divide by 2 this total became position of this force from here okay you can solve this that will come 30 minus 20 by 6 so 10 by 6 is coming okay so 10 by 6 means how much uh, 5 by 3 some 5 by 3 is coming so this location is 5 by 3 okay all clear so now you have understood that if you have triangular loading then if they are asking at point P then only one triangle is sufficient but if they are asking somewhere at this section how much at this section how much load is acting then how will you calculate in that case you will consider this as a uh, new new thing and that you will split in rectangle and triangle for rectangle separate calculation separate force separate location of force for triangle separate calculation separate location of force and then mid of both the forces you will choose correct so Actually what happens, why I am teaching this, this is the part of concept. But till now in gate aerospace exam, we have not seen this kind of question. But because it is in the syllabus, syllabus means this topic is in the syllabus. So if they want to make a very tough question paper, because it is very lengthy also. Okay, as per my experience, these kind of questions, they will not ask. But do not take this for granted. So be ready with the concept. So now what we are going to practice, we are not going to practice these kind of problems where we have to spend so much time here you are not developing your concept of sfd bmd here you are developing your concept of geometry calculation of force area basic basic things so as a gate aspirant you are expected to be very very good in geometry calculations because you are a graduate now so you should be knowing how to find out area of this how to find out this length that length what i was explaining just now using the concept of similar triangle blah blah things you should already be very good in that that part okay but it's totally fine it is my duty to teach you from basics so i taught that now what is your next step you don't have to bother this kind of situation where here section is given no but uh, mechanical students they should solve this part also actually what happens if you are solving for mechanical engineering then this this will be helpful for you okay but it's not like aerospace engineers are not solving this means we are solving eg papers we have our own core core papers that is also very tough right let's go for our basic udl drawing how does it look actually uh, it goes like this this is my cantilever and i am considering one basic very basic udl very basic udl this is 10 newton per meter so when you will draw SFD, then you can see here from here to here when you are going, uh, you need to calculate force, right? So first you will calculate force for this much, this much distance, then 
multiply we find out the area then you will go furthermore suppose you came here suppose you came here in that case all the area you will calculate it means further you will you will multiply the distance when you came when you came here then all the distance you will multiply so what are you seeing here you are seeing that when you are going ahead you are finding out force by multiplying this distance right it means what you are finding out your force in udl you are multiplying a distance so distance is power 1 you can see here here also power is 1 so variation is linear it means your force is not constant your force is depending on the this thing so your shear load will also shear force will also be not will also not be constant okay so your shear force will increase linearly okay you have some angle here i hope it's clear this will increase linearly and after that it will become constant why it will become constant because once you cross this limit then these points they don't know they don't know that they don't know that this side udl is there or constant at point point load is there or what is there they only know that this much after this i don't have any physical load present but we are loaded because something is there what is there these points they don't know okay i hope this part is clear now uh, you will join this right clear this became your constant sfd and this became your uh, change in sfd like two types of diagram we got here okay now next thing how will you draw bmd so when you are drawing okay copy this sfd okay when you are drawing bmd then what will you do what will you do so first of all you will not draw positive side why because your beam will turn like this uh, hogging shape right so negative so we have to draw negative side so we have to draw negative side so i will draw this line more up so i'm taking reference line here 0 newton meter reference line so now see here as as you know your moment is nothing but force into force into distance and your force itself is not constant what why it is not constant because force itself we are calculating using udl into distance into distance so your moment is actually the function of distance into distance means power 2 it means your moment is proportional to distance square right it means from here one thing is clear that i should draw negative side now one more thing is clear i should draw parabolic okay i should draw parabolic now question comes why parabolic because mathematics why power 1 power 2 parabolic variation right now you see now question comes you should draw this kind of parabola or you should draw this kind of parabola again there is a problem so for that we have our basic concept when there is a concept of increasing decreasing what is that concept when you are moving in this direction then you check your shear force your shear force is increasing or not so see the graph shear force is constantly increasing so if shear force is increasing then bending moment diagram should be increasing okay so if you are drawing you consider this as axis xy here so from here only this is your uh, increasing okay this is not your increasing diagram okay if you are not good in this increasing decreasing function then if you have watched 2023 videos batch videos there i have already explained if you did not watch that then already i am recommending you finish 2023 videos then only come to 2024 class okay if no problem you 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 understand this okay why it is increasing why it is decreasing because if you draw slope here if you draw slope here if you draw slope here you can see slope is increasing that's why that blue line is increasing okay once we are reaching here after that situation will change why because these points have no idea what kind of load is there they have nothing to do with that because here currently there is no load so what will i do whatever udl is there that udl i will convert into point load because i want to know that these all this much variation will give you effective loading for this beam so for that effective loading actually meeting got over joining again let's start so i was saying that 
for that effective loading i should know where is the final load acting correct so for that only i have given you idea where is the final load acting so whatever you will calculate as a area area of this that will be your force force is nothing but area of the udl and uh, location of the force is also nothing but you know very well so force also you got location of force also you got so suppose this is the location of the force this is the location of the force so what will you do you will think that till here it is clear but now you have to know till here it is clear but now you have to know at the end how much effect will come because of this loading so for that you will you will do what for that you will do this length and this length you add this plus this you add you find out total length then that total length you multiply with the force that will give you uh, some bending moment here and that you will join by a straight line why straight line because here when you are multiplying with single length it is single length means moment is equal to force into single length here here you have now many students may think sir this force is actually udl into this that yes you are right correct but that was uh, for that load when the load itself was not constant when the load itself was uh, coming as uh, like udl into distance but once you have covered the entire udl then uh, separate concept will come what is that new concept this udl you replace with a point load so now i have replaced where is the location of point load according to that you calculate moment here okay and join with the straight line i hope it's clear right so this became your bmd copy down this okay then class over for tonight good night all of you you all can leave if you have any doubt stay with me ask for doubts